Well, Britt, Freddie, this morning we're on Monticello Road at Studio Campfire, which is kind of cool. Uh, Trey and Cook, we're talking about creative juices and kind of really getting that flowing. You're an artist, been an artist for a billion and five years, and children's right books there. and books, maybe a billion in two years, right? We're right around there, yeah. A little ass, <laughs> but my hair would suggest otherwise. Yeah. There you go. So here at the studio, you kind of build as, as a cool place to come and, and kind of unlock the, the creative art inside you. That's exactly what we're doing. Uh, what we like to say is, you know, we're, we're telling stories. Right. Um, occasionally, I stumble into actually being an artist, but more than anything, <laughs> I'm just telling a good story. That's good stuff. Yeah. All right, so you know, you said, here you go, Tyler. Now, listen, I am no Rembrandt. And well, you said, here's a blank canvas, and I'm gonna, that's a lot of white space, brother. A I know. Don't, don't be nervous. <laughs> don't be nervous. Like I tell all my students, the first thing we're going to do is slap paint on there. Okay. Because, all right, so I've got some, looks like some yeah, ketchup on there and some blue. Okay, well, what we have here is we have a burnt sienna, and we okay. call that burnt sienna because uh, brown is boring. So we call it burnt sienna. Yeah, very good. Um, exactly. And then, then purple is just purple. I like it. It's fine. Okay, right. now you can get in there and stir it around a little so bit. So I got a little water. water. You got all right, some water. and then bring it over. Yeah, and some purple and there. Some purple. It's okay to mix okay. the colors in? Yeah, man, how about oh, it? Look at that. All right. Okay, so, and now the fun part. Okay. We're going to do, just get in there and then just start wait, doing wait, what some... What do you mean to do? Just do some circular motion like this. Do like that? Don't you worry about it. Get yourself a little water if you need some. I'll share all mine right. with you. All right, thank you very much. It is yeah. all about sharing here. So tell well, me about the classes. Already. This is what we do here. Just... Is there, anything, yeah. is there anything to the, the kind of circle? Can you tell about somebody from the circles that I'm well, making? Well, immediately I'd say you're done. Let's sell that for about 100 grand. I'm done. I think you're it. I'm you're done. Brief, Randy, I'm yeah. serious. This could be no, you, guys. No, I do think no, it does, it does it show much? up. No, no, keep going. Keep okay. going. It's all about sure. your... The, that's the interesting thing about painting is each person has their own unique brushstroke. And the more you do it, the more you'll find out exactly what it is. I mean, I'm just randomly what that brush up here. Is. What is it? Bob, Bob Ross used to say, there's no mistakes, just happy accidents. Isn't exactly that what right. right. That and some happy trees. <laughs> it's a happy little bush over yeah, here. Right. Exactly. All right. Okay, so now once we get there, we okay. kind of step back a little bit. All right. And you see anything in that image. Let's see if we can pull any I mean, images I don't know. out of that. Gosh, um, I see like a little, maybe a mask there. All right, Gosh, All right go with it. Home. I don't know, like a little go mask with right it, here. Go with it. So put a little smile right here, like almost like a skeleton. Okay. That looks good. Let's see. Can, can I come me. up here? There's this sure. giant fly over here. He's going to eat that skeleton. How do, how do you even, that's the thing artists do, they see this stuff. Crazy. Guys, we're going to be at Studio Campfire Morning Long working oh, on this Rembrandt, man. but also can make a little bit something very cool you can do with your kids, a time-honored tradition with a twist from Studio Campfire and Mr. Cook right here, guys. Stay with us. We're getting our, our art on. In fact, this might make a good Christmas yeah. gift. How about that? Yeah, Stay a big with giant fly. <laughs> we're coming back live and local. Look at that. Guys, we are live and local this morning on Monticello Road. Very, very cool, eclectic place we found called Studio Campfire. We go anywhere from creating art and canvas to writing and learning how to become a book illustrator, as the cooks have uh, through many, many years. Miss Laurie Cook of uh, Trey is still back there working on his work of art. Mine's, I'm not sure even what I got going on there. But one of the things you guys do together, and as a family, of course, Maisie and Walt here as well, is you guys write and illustrate books. Yeah, this was a story that we started telling Maisie and Walt when they were little, little, and now they're not so little anymore. But right. every year we still tell the story, so we finally just put it into book form, right. and we share it with everybody. That is cool. It's called Gertie the Christmas Ostrich. Can you, can you share a little bit with yep. us? We're going we're gonna to sit down. Can, gather on the TV, kids. Here we go. Go ahead. <laughs> this is Gertie the Christmas Ostrich by Tran and Lori Cook. It was quarter past four on the 17th floor of the Bigger is Better department store when a team of gray suits started to yell, we need a gimmick that can sell, 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 sell. I love it. For hours they argued, squabbled, debated, then stopped for a look-see at what was created. And there sat Gertie, an ostrich, it's true, a long leggedy thing and long neckedy too, with a teeny tiny head and two giant eyes blue. Her wings would be glorious if only she flew. Her legs and her neck stretched without strain and were striped red and white like three candy canes. The suits leered at the paper in awe and despair. With their noses all crinkled, they stared with a glare. We can't use her. Just look at her there. No one would buy her. No one would dare. It's time we put this bad egg to bed and test market a better idea instead. So onto a shelf labeled bad ideas here went the sketches of Gertie and her would-be career.
Look at that. Gertie the Christmas Ostrich, written by uh, Fran and uh, Lori Cook as well. Let me go right here. Student Campfire, links for you at watch.com. Such a cool place. Come in classes. You guys have classes in writing and illustration. And in a little bit, we're going to head up back and get our s'more on. But not yeah. just your everyday s'more, because anybody can do that. It's kind of a s'more with a Studio Campfire twist. Twist. I love it, guys. Yeah. Laura and Tran Cook, of course, and Walt. And happy birthday, Walt, by the way. He's 15 years old today. Still getting the Ostrich happy book birthday. Fred. There it is, guys. We're live and local here having a very special artistic morning on Good Day Columbia. Well, guys, I'll tell you what, we're live and local this morning at Studio Campfire, and you can't have a place called Studio Campfire without a little campfire, for sure. We're talking about art and ways to really kind of get your creative juices flowing. Of course, I'm here with the Cook family, Maisie and Walt, who's turning 15 today, and Lori and Tran as well. Now, everybody does s'mores. It's a time-honored tradition. You can go see, do s'mores at the uh, lights at uh, Riverbanks if you'd like to. But you guys have kind of a cool twist on the s'more. What is that? Well, it is a slight variation. We've taken s'more technology to a whole new level. S'more technology. Yes, Advancements it will. Advancements making s'mores. All right, go ahead. Well, so it's something that's a problem I've dealt with for years. Is right. How to encapsulate those marshmallows on the graham cracker. That's true, because you got a graham. Normally, a graham cracker is, is marshmallow, chocolate, and you scrunch it, and it sticks yeah. out the side. It runs down. It's hot. Well, and it burns you, and you got it on your side. Your what yeah, happens yeah. to that graham cracker? It snaps in yeah. half, and, and there's pieces stuff all over uh -huh. your beard. Mm -hmm. So then we said, well, we could just we could just take an ice cream cone and then Brilliant. pull our uh, marshmallow off here okay. and stuff it down in. I like this idea. All right. Start with one first, Tyler. Okay. Here we go, guys. This is a very special. It's not yeah. even a Food Friday. We're going to get this recipe. All right, now what? And, and not only do we stop it, dude, now we, now we just stop with marshmallows. Now right. we're going to add some extra ingredients. Oh, not just the chocolate, man. but just grab whatever you want. We've oh got gosh. some uh, This is like chocolate some chip pieces. Cookies. Yeah, you got to get the Reese's. Oh, oh, white chocolate. Hang on. Some little white chocolate. Like what is this some, right here? Uh, that's uh, is that peppermint, peppermint patty? I peppermint feel like patty. I'm skiing down, we'll killing the mountain top. in Vermont. <laughs> and some chocolate. Did your wife make these chocolate chip cookies? I believe she did. She better Her have. Her mom did. I'll tell you what. All right, there you go. All right, okay, now what do I do? Add a little bit of that on here, and then you're going to add some, some more on top. All add right. Your, that last marshmallow okay. on there. Guys, this is actually kind of fun. Much better than that. You can do this this weekend with the kids at home. Just do it. Okay. There we go. Go back, go back with one more layer. More? You can't right. have enough, Tyler. I'm going to just, uh, I need it, I need, here, I need that spoon. There you go, have that. There we go, all right, just like that. Guys, how are the s'mores, all right? Like that, and then just eat and like an ice cream cone? I see. Uh-huh. This is an awesome s'more. Here at Studio Camp Park. Hey, real quick, tell me about the classes you guys do. That's right. We've got some awesome mm. classes that we're going to be starting here to start the new year. We've mm -hmm. got some workshops. All right. It's all about telling stories. I love That's it. the fun thing about it. You know, we want you to create art, but we want to, you to tell your story, your point of view. All right. So we'll be doing that to start the new year. So check us out at www.studiocampfire.com. There we go. And I've been working on my own painting here inside. We're going to show you that in about 20 minutes. I've got a story I've told. We'll share that with you. But right now, I'm going to tell the story of me being full of s'mores. <laughs> Stay with us. We're live and local at Studio Campfire on Monticello Road here in Columbia. Long we've been at Studio Campfire running right Monticello Road, just outside of town <coughs> here, learning about how to kind of get, get the creative juices flowing and tell stories. Tran and Lori Cook, uh, you guys are, are visual artists. You've illustrated books and novels, and you write them as well, which is all kind of cool. And you teach classes. You can yeah, teach a guy yeah. like me to create a thing like this. Hey, <laughs> no. Well, and bear in mind, this was, a, you know, this was a quick study, right? Right, right? You're doing a great job. And the other thing we always say to our students is you're experimenting. Sure. So don't, you know, don't feel like this is, this is not the finished product. We still have right. a few things we're going to wrap up, but I think you did an excellent job. Now, what did you, you call this, this is kind of a different discipline. It's not, it's not watercolors. It's kind of a different discipline with a, with a wide space. Exactly. Well, we're working in acrylics. And mm -hmm. the awesome thing about that is it's a water-based paint. It is, right. it is like watercolor. And if you wanted to, you could dilute it even more and you could work on a watercolor paper. Mm -hmm. Awesome thing about acrylics is very forgiving. You can paint yeah. over it. As many so you make times a mistake, you, you can try again. Exactly, and That's I love cool. that. I need that. <laughs> and uh, there may be some spots where you may need it. I don't know. Sure. I'm gonna let you decide. Well, that. I'm you know I'm just like I said. I'm I'm just letting this things take shape. You remember about an hour and a half ago we started with just some swirls here on the canvas, and and this is so this is a story I'm telling. It's, a, it's about yes, storytelling, exactly. right? That's right. So of course we all know Superman. Superman being the tip of the sword of justice. He's protecting the innocent person over here from this bad 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 dude that's one bad dude yeah I mean, you can tell he's angry he's got to be he's got to see fraser crane he's got some ish mommy yeah, issues is what I'm he's having a bad christmas yeah there's a little oedipus thing going on and then of course some killer flies and he's and so superman is going to protect the innocent from there and that's and that's my story that i've created here well at done, studio campfire 
fantastic huh? job. That along with a new way to make s'mores is pretty cool. Oh, you, yeah. Now, you do classes out here. Folks can come out here and, and kind of learn how to do this? Yes, they can. And this they can really check neat. out my website at okay. studiocampfire.com. They can find our books. They can learn about our classes, our upcoming sure. workshops, and just come out here and, and, and feel the vibe. You know, yeah. it's about experiencing this this atmosphere you know it's, it's a pretty cool it thing we're gonna let this dry and you're gonna see this again my friends i promise and maybe one of my friends watching you might get this for christmas i'm not sure either way i want to thank, uh, <laughs> thank Trayon and uh, of course Lori cook for letting me come out and do this Anytime. happy birthday walt he's 15 today that's right and, uh, and Maisie as well this has a, been a really cool morning links for you at watch.com but really just unlock and tell stories and get creative and let it flow Absolutely. Like that bicep, by the way. I like that. He's been, he's been eating Wheaties. Yeah, it really was. I'm right. going to put my shirt back on. Guys, we're going to take Columbia's live and local till 9 o'clock. Don't move.